Now heading into tomorrow's midterm election, we go to a national scope. Authorities are warning that extremists could target election infrastructure or personnel or polling locations themselves. They could also be involved in voter suppression and intimidation. Here's ABC's Rena Roy. With just one day to go until the final ballots are cast in the crucial midterm elections, there's growing concern over election security. The nation is polarized, angry, a uh, growing number of people in our society just don't trust government. While officials say they are not aware of any specific plots at this time and most Americans will vote without a hitch, experts worry about the ongoing threat to election workers, polling locations, and political officials in an environment filled with misinformation and conspiracy theories. A county clerk in Colorado who helps oversee elections says he wears a bulletproof vest to work every day. And I have had some incidences in, in the past where people have followed me back to my neighborhood. That prompted me to start talking with the sheriff about you know, personal safety. Uh, he recommended that I wear a, a ballistic vest. Voter fraud, suppression and intimidation also an issue. 18 cases of alleged voter intimidation at Arizona ballot drop box locations now referred to the Department of Justice. This video shows people armed and in tactical gear observing or watching ballot boxes there. The DOJ now monitoring some polling locations in 24 states for compliance with federal voting rights laws. A recent Homeland Security bulletin saying perceptions of fraud and reactions to divisive topics will likely drive sporadic plotting of violence. They've been listening to some of their social media feeds or reading misinformation online. Those theories persist in many cases by some of the very candidates who are running to take over in this year's midterm elections. And fueling the fire, 60 percent of Americans will have an election denier on the ballot, according to 538. Republican candidates running for governor in both Pennsylvania and Arizona are among them. Experts say foreign interference is also helping sow distrust in the federal government. One Russian entrepreneur admitting publicly for the first time that he has interfered in U.S. elections and saying on social media that will continue. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. And make sure you join us tomorrow night for live election coverage. Linda Larson will be in Boise. I will be here in the studio with a special guest commentator. And you can also be a part of the conversation on our website. We will have a special section live throughout the evening.